Memphis, wherever they went. There they are. The beast lives again. Hi folks, welcome back. Today, I'm gonna to show you how I failed. Bright idea up here. <clears throat> what are you talking about? I have never failed in my life. Ha <laughs> ha. This, and this one over here. I guess I could give you a different video. <sighs> this is my Spin Master 2000. It's a video about how I made all this, just using a, a gate operator made by LiftMaster that's seven years old and worn out. So I turned it into something useful. An automated drink holder. Turn it down a little bit. Now this one, I put on a caster set and then I uh, put on a, a brass fitting where I could hook my negative up to. Tore out a lot of the insides. Got an old 25 pound barbell weight. That's Don's idea too. And uh, I think it was 17 and a half by the time I was through with it. But uh, made a nice table. Now this one, the controller's down here. You can go forward, you can go reverse. And you can get it down in here into the real smooth motion or welding. All without having to do any kind of um, modifications to the drive system. Now this one is where I failed. This one was going to be the Spin Master 3000. Gotta, gotta turn it around, y'all aren't looking at me. This is the speeder control of it. Some more casters. An old six inch vise I had. Chuck. Well, that was noisy. Same kind of setup to hook up my ground. And then the ground goes all the way through to this independently of the frame. So the only place it starts touching the motor simply is in here. Problem is, you okay over there? play dead. This is the same kind of motor controller. But that's as slow as I can reliably turn that. That's a shame. This is going to be the easiest project of all. Let me show you what I started with over here. Here we go. It's all in a nice little package. Use the old case and everything. Now, this is what it looked like when I started. Twenty-four volt motor, and you want the the DC version so that you can reverse it and go down real slow by the speed controller, such as that. Anyway, where are you? I 
I rigged this one up last year for a play I was in. Had it set up to where it made a trap door fall open. Worked wonderful. Too bad I couldn't be in it. I was in the hospital. It's kind of funny this time last year. I was in intensive care in Temple, Texas. Ready to die. But they pulled me through. I have to remember everything I do in here has been at least a year old. Now, this is the output shaft where the chain would go around and pull your slide gate open. If you notice everything comes out, I thought that'd be easy to do, like this one. In fact, I made it where I didn't even have to do any boring. That sprocket this one right here, I just turned it over and welded it onto that back plate I made. Bob's your uncle. Problem is, I couldn't get it to go reliably slow enough. It's just too fast for welding. So, I went to work. This is the factory gear that's on it. It's 104 tooth. It's on that little end down there. And this has got a 28 tooth. So first thing I did was I got some smaller teeth for this one. It's the cheapest one. And I found some that were down into the 12, 10 tooth version that I put on in an effort to get it down slower. And that didn't work, because this one here should have given me enough, but it didn't. So what I did was I took that one off and I got one of these that was 160 teeth. And then with a 10 tooth for there and 160 over here, I thought surely that would get it down, but no. There's my 16 Axelson that's almost stripped off, ready to paint. I'm going to have to sell it. Life sorters. Anyway, this didn't work. I could, by the time I put the bigger gear on, it was sitting right up here. And it rubs inside of this. Now, if you don't have any other choice, if you could just get a bigger pulley, it would work. But it's got to be more than 160 tooth that this one's pulling. Oh, well. The best laid plans of mice or men. Weeks ago, Don came over and helped me take that motor and all the top head of this bridge port apart. Then, as I could, a little bit by little bit, I was uh, cleaning all the grease off and getting everything ready to go back on. I got it some new brake shoes, wherever they went. There they are. It's probably don't need them. It's probably pretty good. A lot of meat left on those. I'll see what the others look like. Uh, got all these down and cleaned up. There's part over there. Motor's up there, and as soon as I take off that bottom uh, pulley, I'm going to set it up and get it painted. This part is going to get repainted because it was painted. This is the, the, the finish as it came from the factory, only a little bit more dull. See how bright it is right there? I've got some chrome polish that truckers use on their bumpers. We'll see how well that works. So this looks good enough. It'll be the same. This is silver too. I think that looked cool. 
Got a new flag for it. I was going to get another lubrication data, and I might still, but that one, uh, doesn't come in metal anymore. It's a stick-on sticker. I have a lot of the little ones like this I got a new one of. This one's a new. Get this all cleaned up some more and start painting. Now there's one more thing I could show you. I've been working a lot on this week. Now this will be coming up, coming up pretty soon. Twenty horsepower phase converter on. And sorting stuff and getting it ready. Contact. Now I haven't adjusted or bled the air out of it. coming out. The beast lives again. Nineteen forty three Rock Rockford Machine Tool Company Hydraulic Powered Gotta come down here and see if I got any oil leaks. off of these rails into this little trough and circulates back into the bottom. <coughs> Look, there's a rail on it all. Here's the other rail for the 1080D project. And here's the uh, pattern I took over to Windy Hill and Clark pulled that up for me. Ah. I think I can run this one by myself. have to adjust it. Doesn't matter that recirculates, doesn't hurt anything. Got a 20 horsepower three phase motor. Oh 
kind of sweep up that all wasn't exactly the cleanest job I've ever done of an oil change. But I don't do too many 65 gallon oil changes. I don't do very good going backwards. Well, too bad this thing didn't work. Now it would work if I wanted to throw some more money at it. I just have to get a bigger gear uh, for up there for the, the drive belt. And frankly, I got bigger fish to fry right now. So that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. Little so for a drink dispenser. Hell, I could drink that by the time it got around to my hand. Unless I got a bigger Mountain Dew bottle. Hmm.